How's it going guys? It's Ryan here and welcome to episode number one of Road to 2.147 Bill Drop Tab. Now, first off, I just want to say thank you for all your awesome support on the Road to RuneFest video. I just really wasn't sure what to do, and I've now decided, uh, so like I said when I first intro the video, it is going to be a Road to 2.147 Bill Drop Tab. So the value of the items inside the Drop Tab have to be max cash for the series to end, so worth like a little over 2 billion GP. Uh, now, as this is a new series, I like to start the first episode off with a bit of a conversation. So the first couple minutes of this video will be me talking. In the background, you're going to see a bunch of cool stuff. Uh, in the background right here, you will see my first ever raid, uh, which was a lot of fun. But yeah, the most important thing is sort of what I'm talking about. Uh, first off, thanks for all the awesome support recently on my videos and also on the What Happens to Road to RuneFest video. If you've watched it, basically the series was supposed to be a Road to RuneFest where I basically made enough money in-game to go to RuneFest 2017 with bonds, but then they cancelled that things, so you can't really do that anymore. Uh, so I came to you guys and I asked you all for a lot of suggestions, and a lot of people said like Road to Party Hat, Road to Max Cash, stuff like that. Uh, the reason I want to do a drop tab instead of like a Party Hat or a Rare or a Rare Set or anything like that is just I don't really care about cosmetics so much. You know, you'll see I don't really have any overrides, I don't spend any money on spins or Solomon Store or anything like that. I just, I don't really find that too interesting, and I wouldn't want to spend all my money on something that is really valueless to me. And then the problem there is, you know, I need to actually want to achieve the goal, otherwise it's going to be a horrible year plus or however long this series is going to take where I'm just stuck grinding for something that I don't even want in the first place. Uh, so then I came on to the 2.147 build drop tab for a couple reasons. First reason, my first ever series on YouTube was a road to a 500 mil drop tab. That's what got me started and established on YouTube. It was a ton of fun. And the second thing is, you know, this lets me PVM all the time with anyone with no boundaries with nothing. And already in these first couple weeks, I have done a ton of PVM with a ton of really cool uh, people, a lot of viewers, a lot of everything, and it's just been a really, really good time so far. Uh, so it lets me PVM without bounds, and then, you know, any drops I'm getting, I just throw them in the tab. And then the last reason I chose to do this series is I actually have enough money to, you know, actually afford to be able to keep the tab and not have to sell the items in the tab. Uh, I've already spent about 100 mil on potions and supplies and overloads and stuff like that, uh, so I'm going to be good for the entire series without having to sell cool items from the tab. Uh, so anyway guys, uh, that's just all I wanted to say right there as an introduction. Uh, welcome to the series, hopefully you do all enjoy. This episode is really, really cool, there's a whole lot in store for you all. Uh, some really cool drops, and I really hope you do enjoy. Uh, now, as it is the first episode of the series, let me know what you liked and what you didn't, what worked and what didn't with the commentary style. And yeah, the uh, last thing I'm going to say is I'm currently on vacation, as I have been for the last couple days. I posted a notification on Twitter, but I know a lot of you people don't follow me on Twitter, which is cool, that's totally fine. Uh, but yeah, I'm on vacation for the next few days. Obviously, these videos are coming out while I'm on vacation, but I won't get back to comments and stuff right away. Uh, so anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Have a great one and enjoy the rest of it. Uh, that was me getting 120 def, which was absolutely hype. Uh, so anyway, guys, have a good one and peace out. Now, one last thing I want to say, or actually two little things. First thing, I've totally improved my microphone setup, so you're going to find that during this video, the microphone quality is not as high as it is now. It is going to be this high for the rest of the series. I just made some massive upgrades to my whole studio and stuff. Uh, so yeah, it's going to sound way better, which is awesome. Second thing is, the, the style of these videos is a little bit different from Araxor from scratch. In Araxor from scratch, I was showing, you know, every single Araxor kill, every single kill of everything I was doing, and, you know, I thought, you know what, who cares about Ryan getting a coal drop? No one cares about that. Uh, so what I've done is, in this video, all all I've got is like the highlights, the good drops, all that stuff. So even though you might be saying, well, it's a short video, how much could you possibly have packed in there? Uh, it's all the good drops. You know, I actually had 35 hours of PVM clips into these. I did about 50 racks or kills, all the stuff. I mean, I've only put in the drops that have resulted in, you know, like an actual cool money gain for the tab. Uh, one other thing I was going to mention is at the end of every episode, other than the first episode, I am going to be showing you guys the tab and tallying up how much it's worth. Just as a really quick right at the end, we're at... 60 mil of 2.147 bill. Uh, but anyway, at the end of this episode, we were around 50 mil. Uh, just I continued recording into the second episode before I stopped it. Uh, so anyway, guys, for the second time and for the final time, have a good one and peace out. All right, guys, I found the person. His name is Harlan, and we're going to buy ourselves a master defense cape, assuming that he's going to sell me one. I think that's what that dialogue said. Uh, so yeah, here we go. Let's buy it. Is it going to be... Um, let's do it. I mastered the skill. Is there anything else? Oh, perfect. Here we go. 120k. We've got the 120 death cape. That is amazing. I've been going for this for like two years, uh, and we finally have it. Obviously, it looks pretty bad with Virtus, but feels awesome, man. I'm so happy I've got that cape. 
Uh, it's just, you know, it's been a goal for the, the longest time. And yeah, it shows that I now have 120 death. All right, guys, I'm trying out my first proper Araxo kill uh, with the brand new Noxious Bow. I haven't finished augmenting it, but I got Precise 5. And then on my armor, I've got Crackling 3, Absorptive 2. Uh, and then I've got uh, Devoted 3 and Lucky 5. On the whole, I would say this is definitely, well, obviously it's better than it was before. Um, but yeah, very, very easy kills right there. The ass wave didn't even touch me. Uh, so let's go and check the loot. Here we go. Of course, two ceramic scales, 13 brews. I will take it. That's not bad at all. Corruption shot. Uh, this one's really good for ranging, uh, especially at Araxor. Uh, so I just spent 16 and a half mil on that. And then the next one I really just wanted to try out uh, was Onslaught. I'm definitely a fan of this whole Araxor in this gear thing, in actually like good gear. Oh man, it's such a fun boss. I see why a lot of people have fun at this boss. Um, for sure. It's it's a really good time. I'm gonna get to 25k. I'm not even gonna have a death swift. Uh, that's how quick it's going by. I'm used to like having tons of time to get my adren up for the for the death swift, but uh, not when you kill it this quickly, I guess. Not even close. Uh, but yeah, we'll still probably get it done without uh, getting hit by the wave once. Yeah, without a death swift. Uh, this is really really easy. I'm not gonna say it's a joke, but I'm really really happy with it. It's so much fun. That's like the best kill of my life, minion path. Uh, but yeah, why don't we check the loot and see what we get? Um, a Trisk Beast. Okay guys, Acid Wave is here, and I have a grand total of zero food. Uh, so I really don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. It's gonna be insanely close if I do manage to get it, and we actually got it, so I just killed Araxi with no food. Why don't we check the loot here? Let's see it. Uh, 10 rune plates, not bad. Absolutely tearing it up. <laughs> um, amazing, amazing. The kill speed is ridiculous. That's like close to a kill record for me. We did that kill in like seven minutes, less than seven minutes, and it's minion path. And it's the third kill of the day, and we're not even close to running out of food. Like, look at all the food I have left. Um, it's just an absolute joy. So why don't we check the loot here? Uh, nicely done. Onyx bolts. E that go. Oh, come on! He charged at like the absolute worst possible time for my onslaught. Go, go, go! All oh, the hits though. The hits though. Deeps, 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 deeps. See these hits, Tim? Do you see them? Oh, I killed myself. <laughs> I'll be fine. I'm just uh, trying not to be a noob and die. That's all. Isn't it ironic? Part of me kind of wants to onslaught, actually. Okay, here we go. I'm too early to Devo, though. Okay, tag up. Oh, come on. Fuck me. Whatever. The siphon will solve this. Okay, get on you. Go. Let's see if this works. It might not, but I'll try it anyway. Let's see what happens. Come on. Come on, one siphon, please. Please happen. Oh, we fucking one siphoned it. Yes. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god, here we go. But we should have the kill here. If I've got the accuracy to get the kill, we'll taste my wrath. First next solo complete. Look at that. In for the coal and the blue charms. Great success, very nice. Good fight next. Second next solo confirmed. Nice. That was good. In four Onyx Bolts E. Oh, my luck is great. I oh, I got it in one. Yeah, I'm just gonna meme on him. Here we go. So 35 and 36. 34, 35, 36 are all Jads. 34, 35, 36 are all Jads, but 34 and 35 are single and 36 is the double. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, 36 is the double. Correct. Oh, come on, hurry again. Oh, it's so close. Tendrils. Tendrils. Oh, it missed. Are you fucking kidding me? There we go. Got it. Guys, this is my seventh or eighth kill tonight, which is absolute insanity. Uh, but basically what happened is Luke informed me that the buff is happening pretty soon. So I thought, you know, I may as well get in as many kilns as I can, uh, you know, before the buff. But it is currently almost five o'clock in the morning. I basically, I started doing kilns at like two in the morning and I've just gone all the way through the night uh, just because I wanted to make sure that, uh, you know, if I ever want to get the Shrimpy Pet, I make some progress towards it. So I'm just getting my KC up. I only had like five or six kiln kill count before this, just like from the few from Raxum Scratch. Uh, so yeah, I've like basically more than doubled my kill count, which is cool. And you know, I've also made some money as well. All right, guys, here's the deal. I have a Reaper assignment at Dagonoth Kings. I have not soloed Dagonoth Kings in, I want to say like pre-EOC. 
I haven't sold it since then, so I'm super excited. I hope that Void is something good to bring. Maybe I would have been better off bringing like full War Priest or Dragon Rider or even like the Sliske stuff. But hopefully Void will be suffice, I'm just gonna soul split and go ham, hopefully, and I do know that you do need to pray mage for the prime. But yeah, anyway, it should be really interesting, hopefully it goes well. Alright, oh, what? Oh my god! What? Are you kidding me right now? That actually just happened. I, th I just got a pet! How did that even happen? My kill count here is like literally like a hundred. I'm gonna grab my Earth Battle Staff, my Air Talisman. Oh my god, that's my fifth boss pet. Let's get out of here. I can't believe that actually happened. <laughs> this is why I love Reaper assignments. Actually though, check this out. Look at this. 131 DKs and I just got the first pet. <laughs> 